Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team U Fork, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through an ab routine to help you get shredded just in time for the summer. This is week seven of the six months to shredded abs routine. And for today, we're gonna to be progressing some of the exercises. And for those of you who don't wanna wait for the whole six month program, consider becoming a member because I have the whole six month program outlined in the community tab. But for this exercise right over here, we're gonna need some mats and we are going to need a kettlebell. And with regard to the first exercise, this is going to be the abdominal curl up. And this is gonna be one of the exercises that we are going to be progressing from last week's routine. For it, we are going to be in a supine position, meaning we're going to be laying down on our back. And for this week, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be getting rid of the yoga block and we are going to be doing it completely unassisted. So from this supine position right over here, you're just going to go ahead and straighten out your legs, your back. You want it nice and flat on the floor. You want your chin tucked in and resting. Then with your arms, you're going to place your arms down by your side. And then what we're going to do is initiate the movement by tucking the chin toward the chest. And then we are going to nice and slowly curl up while rounding the spine into that nice C-shaped curve. And then on the opposite, we're going to do on the reverse, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to round the spine into that nice C-shape, go nice and slowly. So we're tucking the chin in, getting the thoracic spine off the ground, L1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then on the way down, we're going to touch L5 on the ground, then L4, L3, L2, L1, and then all the way down. So that's the way that we're going to be doing the abdominal curl up. For the abdominal curl up, we are going to do 30 repetitions. That's three zero repetitions of this exercise. And then the next exercise, we're going to go ahead and do the external obliques. For the external obliques, we are going to go ahead and flex our knees to 90 degrees. Then with the arm, we're going to cup the arm over the shoulder. And then on the side that we're going to be working, we're going to go ahead and cross the midline by placing the arm somewhere in between mid thigh, so between the knee and the hip. And then for this exercise right over here, we are going to be going into positive torsion. So we're gonna be doing a combination of flexion with rotation by trying to bring the elbow toward the thigh. So we're gonna go ahead and slowly round the spine. And for this one, we wanna to go to the level of the umbilicus or the L3. You don't need to go any higher than that. So we're just gonna flex and rotate. And for this one, once again, we are doing 30 repetitions. That is the second exercise. Once we've completed that, next, we're gonna get into the transverse abdominus. For the transverse abdominus strengthening, we are going to take a nice deep breath in and we're gonna raise our belly button up toward the sky. This is gonna get a nice pre-stretch and get maximum myofascial tension on the transverse abdominus. And then we're gonna exhale, draw the belly button down toward the spine. And we wanna try and maintain that position. So we're gonna inhale. As we inhale, we're gonna keep the belly button tucked in. And then we're gonna exhale, try and drive the belly button deeper down into the spine. That's pass number two. We're gonna go again, inhale, pass number three, keep that belly button tucked in. Then we're gonna exhale, draw that belly button down toward the spine. Then we're gonna do two more passes. So pass four, we're inhaling, keeping that belly button tucked in. Don't let it raise, exhale, try and sink deeper down into the spine. And then fifth and final pass, we're inhaling, keeping the belly button tucked in. Exhaling, draw the belly button down toward the spine. Then we can reset. So inhale, allow the belly button to expand and exhale. We're gonna do three total sets. So each set, you're doing five inhalation and exhalations while keeping the belly button tucked in for three total rounds. Once we've done that, next we're gonna do the lower umbilicus. So we're gonna do the lower abs. For this one right over here, we're gonna flex the hips and knees to 90 degrees. The arms, we wanna place them at the level of the glenohumeral angle, which is gonna be anywhere from 90 to 135 degrees. And then for this exercise right over here, we wanna drive the knees up toward the ceiling in one straight line. You wanna make sure for this one over here, you're not going into extension or flexion of the hips. You wanna remain perpendicular to the ground and just drive them up toward the sky. The first time you do this exercise, you may not be able to get very high. Ideally, you wanna be able to get to the level of the umbilicus or the L3, but the more advanced you get and the stronger your core gets, the higher you should be able to go. But that is the third exercise. And for this one, we're gonna be doing 20 repetitions. Then for the next exercise, we're gonna be doing the lower abdominals for the external obliques. So what we wanna do for this exercise right over here is with one hip and knee, we're gonna go ahead and flex to 90 degrees. And then with the opposite leg, we wanna go into adduction, a deduction of 30 to 45 degrees by crossing the leg over the other knee. Then once again, we're gonna place the arms at the level of the glenohumeral angle, anywhere from 90 to 135 degrees. 
And for this exercise right over here, we want to drive the knee toward the opposite shoulder. So we're going to go ahead and go into flexion and rotation. And for this one right over here, once again, we're going to be doing 20 repetitions. And that is for the lower fibers of the external obliques. And then for this one right over here, we're going to be doing 20 repetitions. And then we're going to finish off with 20 diaphragmatic strengthening repetitions. So we're going to take the kettlebell. We're going to place it on the umbilicus or your belly button. And you're going to take a nice deep breath in. Try and raise the belly button up toward the sky as much as possible. And then exhale. Try and drive that kettlebell down toward the spine. You're going to inhale. Drive the belly button up. Exhale. Let the kettlebell sink down toward the spine. We're going to do 20 repetitions for that exercise. And that is it for week seven of the six months to shredded abs routine. So once again, we have the abdominal curl up with the hands down by the side. We're going to do 30 repetitions of that. Then we're going to do 30 repetitions of the external obliques for the sub for the supra umbilical fibers. We're going to do three sets for the transverse abdominal strengthening. And then we're going to do 20 repetitions of the sub umbilical or the lower abdominal exercise and 20 repetitions for the lower abdominal external oblique fibers. Then we're going to finish off with 20 repetitions of the kettlebell for the strengthening for the, for the diaphragm. But that is the strengthening exercise. And that is week seven of the six months to shredded abs routine. Next week, I'm going to be taking you through week eight of the six months to shredded abs routine.